Hey guys, I'm going to show you how I typically will make PowerShell scripts that automatically download something or just make it easier to, you know, use or access something. So one of those things that I really like to use is called the Floss Raptor. Uh, it's a really cool digital forensics and incident response project that anybody can go access on GitHub. So I'm going to go over to the releases and then I'm going to uh, find you know, I'm just going to find their latest release. Here you can see we've got some uh, AMD64, uh, you know, content here the past three days, it looks like. So all I'm really going to do is look for the executable, which I found it right here. And then we're going to go ahead and copy this. Uh, from here, I'm just going to put this into a comment right there. So that way we know what that is, because that, that's really the main thing that we're really going to need here to go ahead and get this to, uh, you know, to be a PowerShell script that can go ahead and just launch and call it good. Uh, from here, I also know that there is something wonky about the way that Windows handles downloads in the sense that they will typically uh, go ahead and show you basically a, a progress bar of sorts on any type of web requests. So that's a, a setting that we have to change. So we're just going to go to Google and we're going to search for uh, silently continue. And thankfully there's great sites like Stack Overflow where a lot of people share this great information. Um, you can go ahead and use continue. So then further on like items show that, although I pretty much almost never do that, so I'll pretty much always have progress preference up to silently continue. Um, and then we're also going to navigate into the user's downloads folder. Um, so in, in order to do that, we're just going to CD, um, and then we're going to use the, the current user profile. And I, I might as well just put this in quotes, downloads. So at this point, if we run this, all it's going to do is change the directory into the current user download folder. Now at this point, we're going to go ahead and take this and we're just going to use wget and for the out file, we're going to call this velo.exe and then at this point, we're just going to call velo start process of hello.exe we should be able to just do this ah uh, that's right So we should be able to pass over a single argument. Oh my goodness, it's been a second since I've done this. Okay, here we go. It might, it might literally be that easy. Okay, let's try again. Oh, first, let's go ahead and remove. That's gone. All right, let's launch it. Boom. Done. There you go. 